Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little wrapping video. So I'm going to show you how I wrapped these presents and how to do it. So I got plain brown paper just for a kind of vintage look and I've also got some nice coloured paper. Again, I've kind of mostly stuck to the brown because I do think that it's the prettiest. But I'm going to let you know like all of the things that I've done on it, why I am doing all this and when I got everything and I think it's just so cute and I absolutely love wrapping. If you know me personally, you will know how much I love wrapping. It's genuinely my favourite thing ever. I think that I should have been born one of Santa's elves but I'm not. So you know what, we're just going to roll with what we've got and I just think that they're so cute. So for the first one, I've done this in just plain brown paper. Again, I think that this is so pretty. I think if I were to do this again, I would probably move this over a little bit. But as you can see, I have got red and white string going all the way around. And I've also threaded through some bells. Um, I actually did this wrong. I would normally thread it through twice just so it doesn't slip down. But I forgot to do that. So I've had to just kind of tape them up. But you can't really see it. So it's totally fine. And I've also got some gold little ribbons on as well. And they are just, they've just got a wire around them. So you can just wire them in. You can just like bend them around the string and it'll stay in. And I got all of these from a little craft store in the town at Centre. Her. They have lots of nice bits and bobs. They have bells. They've also got like little candy canes and they've got like the actual candy canes that you can get. They've got different coloured bells and stuff like that so I do recommend going and doing that if that's something you like. So basically I just stuck the string right at the back of the present. So this is where it's folded up. Make sure that the nasty bit of the presents at the back and all the decorations are on the front. So I basically just stuck the string down, wrapped it around a few times and so I knew that I had enough of it. Then I cut it and then that's when I started threading through all of the bells. And to finish off the present, of course, you need to get a little name tag for it. So this one's a little penguin. I think it's so cute. It's got some confetti in it. And I got this because it's this present is for my niece and I thought that it was something a little bit more exciting for her. She's only two and she's going to be three in January. So I thought that I'd get her something a little bit fun. So this has got this little penguin. It also comes with polar bears, Santas and there's something else. And snowmen. And they've got little confetti in their tummies. So I put on the back to Alexis from Lisa XOX and I did this in green just so that it could match the sort of aesthetic of the present. And I also stuck it down with this little sticker and it says Holly Jolly and I just think it looks a lot better than tape and it still goes with the theme so it's red, green and white um, and it's something a little bit nice for my niece to look at before she rips it open and ruins my, ruins my dreams. So this was my first one. These have also been sitting in my room for so long and I've been really wanting to get rid of them. So the next present is also in this nice paper. Now this was a wee bit difficult to wrap. I'm not going to tell you what's in it because it is for my father. Um, but it was a little bit difficult to wrap. It's not the, actually the best wrapping, but you know what? If you cover it in, in crap, then it'll be fine. So I basically just wrapped it as normal, and then I got this little tartan ribbon, and this was also from the same craft store as I mentioned previously. I think that I actually used the whole ribbon because I did have to wrap it round, so I wrapped it around the back here. Again, it's not the neatest on the back, but it doesn't really matter, and you know what? My dad's is really not going to care. So I wrapped it round and I put this little candy cane in. So you need to make sure that you really tie this tight because you don't want the candy cane to fall out. Also, I just want to say quickly that this was heavily inspired by Zoella's video of her wrapping because I loved watching that video and it's something that I watch every year just because I love it. So I wanted to make one for myself. But anyway, moving on. So I got these little stamps, again, from the same craft store. So they come with their own ink. So you've got silver, gold, green and red ink. I wish that they came with a black one but they don't, so never mind. So on here I've put little trees and also little snowflakes. I put the snowflakes in silver and the trees in green. Also, I'm so slouched now, but I want to have enough room for you to like see the presents. I also put on this red glittery tree. So this is the name tag for it, just so it would match like the theme, so the color red. And I just put on the back, to dad, lots of love, Lisa. And I just did it in black because I didn't want to make it too much. And this tree's also quite small, so I thought that if I went in for a thick pen, it could kind of ruin it. So I just went for black, and it also goes with the black on the ribbon as well. So this is my second present for my dad. Oh, this one's so heavy. 
So the third present I did is in this, again, brown wrapping paper, but it has little reindeer on it. It's just so cute. This is so heavy. I can't tell you what's in this either because this is for Jordan's mum and dad. Okay, I'm definitely going to need to restick this tag, but I'm just going to hopefully it'll stay for this. So again, I've got this little ribbon here. It's just brown. And I got that from the same craft store. So it came on this little jumbo sort of thing with lots of ribbons on it. So this one came on it as well. And I did use the whole ribbon for this present. So also on this present, I have put two little bows. Actually, I've done three bows, but two little gold bows and a little red bow. And I also got another candy cane in the middle. So again, just to tie that really tight. This is a pretty little present. I would love to receive a present like this. I do kind of hope that everyone returns my ribbons if I'm honest. Okay, and this is the last present I've done. So this is to my brother's girlfriend, her name is Jen. And I've just done your bog standard kind of gold ribbon round it. And this is like a nice red wrapping paper. I do like the red and it's still got the kind of brown on it for the gingerbread men. I've put some holly in this one. I got the holly from Amazon. And I actually got the holly in as part of my makeup look, so I will be having holly on in my makeup look at some point. I'm just not sure when, we'll see when that when that happens, I've not done that yet. I wrapped the ribbon around this holly up here, but I think I probably will stick it as well because it isn't quite sitting right, like it isn't sitting how I want it to. And then I stuck another holly on and I just stuck this on with sellotape because this one did quite go right. I've also put on two little gold bows so it matches the ribbon and it's still kind of close to the brown colour. And I've put on two bells here, so I've got a gold and a red one. I haven't put anything on the top because it is quite small and I thought that it's not the, the most neat because this is where it's all folded over. So I thought I would just leave the top on this one. And I just tied this in a little bow and this ribbon was already nice and curly so I didn't need to recurl it. This wrapping paper came with matching tags. So this is a little gingerbread man and I wrote this one in red ink. I think this wrapping paper is just from Tesco and the same obviously with the tag because they are matching. So this was my last present. I'm super in love with it. I've also wrapped another two presents in my spare time because they need to be done, uh, which I didn't actually film at all, but I want to show you them as well because I love these. And this was paper that I got after I filmed this video, so I wasn't gonna film anymore, unfortunately, very sorry. So here is the first present. I think this is so cute. This is for my secret Santa. I've had a couple of the, well, actually, I've just had one of the candy canes fall off, but these are from eBay as well. I've already done a look with these. I will insert it here so you can see that look. And just while I'm at that, please make sure that you follow my Instagram. It's at underscore wake up by Lisa. I'm doing 24 days of Christmas over there so you can get lots of Christmas looks every day. I'll leave it like an advent calendar. So I got this paper from Primark. It's so nice. It's like a nice candy cane so we obviously went candy cane themed here with a red ribbon and a candy cane in the middle so I stuck the candy canes round and this is a box where this lid comes off so I just wrapped the lid I didn't want to wrap the full thing because I was kind of struggling to get the lid on as it was I didn't want to make the package any smaller any harder to actually put the lid on this is a box that I got in PR and it's been sitting in my wardrobe for ages and I didn't want to throw it out because I thought it could be nice so I ended up just doing this with it. And this is my last present. So cute. So this is for Jordan and it is in the candy cane wrapping paper again. I've put gold bells on the front this time and also some fake candy canes. And then I've put a real candy cane and a candy cane tag candy cane tag. I'm actually a bit candy cane mad. I've also put them down the front as well so like when it sits under the tree you can see like the top and this bit here. So I've also just wrapped it in like a normal kind of red bog standard ribbon and I had to curl these. I didn't curl them that well but I just curled the edges because this ribbon wasn't very curly. So yeah this is another nice present that I did. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some fun ideas to do for wrapping your presents. I know that wrapping your presents can be quite a bit of a chore for some people but for people like me I absolutely love it and I think that it's super fun to decorate it nice you can get crafty and you know what some people are in lockdown so you might as well make the most of it and do something nice and fun for other people this month is my absolutely favorite month of the year so I'm hoping I'll get some fun content out for you on here if you haven't already please give this video a big like and subscribe down below leave a comment and let me know what videos you would like to see from me and also if you made it all the way to here if you could leave a Christmas emoji down below that would be amazing so I know that you got to the end if you haven't already please check out my last video I will leave it in the top right hand corner it is a tutorial and also a review of the new Lorock palette and with all that being said I will see you in the next one bye 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 bye, bye.